The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, guys, to our Days Gone playthrough. We are really getting into the deep here. I feel like there's been so many hours we spent in the game, and I didn't keep track, haven't kept track, rather, but we are hundreds of days in this so far. As far as the story is concerned, does it show right here? Let me see. Not here. Is it in start? Yeah. Holy crap! 803 days! It's a really long time. It's, uh, yeah. Three, six, yeah, that's over two years for sure. But anyway, there's a lot of stuff. Shut up, Buzz. There's a lot of stuff that we need to do uh, per usual, whether it be bounties, clearing out nests, clearing out marauder camps, ripper camps, whatever. But let's take a look and see what we're dealing with. First off, skills, zero. Okay. Storyline, what do we have? Just the one. Curious. Okay, surviving isn't living about Boozer's arm. Okay, so let's go ahead and meet up with Boozer and see what the deal is. We got a little bit of ways to go. Let's turn around here. I know I can do a fast travel, but it's the start of the game. This particular episode, I should say. So let's just hope it. Well, not exactly hope it, but you know what I mean. Let's see, what is this body over here? What are we looking at? Free crit here, maybe? Oh. Happy about that. Oh, I forgot to get that perk that gives you double meat. Which, you know. One of the camps can use this. I would use to build trust with the camps. But worry about that later. Looks like we got some enemies just north of here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, okay. Time to wait, I guess. Oh, God. Nope, it's a runner. Good night. Oh, I killed it. One shot. Deacon St. John, this is Lost Lake. Come in. Yeah, Mike, this is Dick. I heard you tracked down Harp. I was hoping you'd bring him in for trial. Well, sorry, Mike. He, uh, le let's say the Swarmers had other ideas about that. Oh, shit. Ricky didn't tell me that. Harp wasn't the kind of man you ever turned your back to, but he didn't deserve to go out like that. Uh, I guess not. Uh, but then I guess Dan Lane didn't deserve to get shot in the back either. <sighs> Point well taken. See you, Deke. Iron Mike out. As we progress through the game, we come across... How many drifters you guys murder today, huh? Oh, yeah, right. I can tell by looking at you. New enemies we come across. Ah! Idiots. Ah, here's our new gun. Let's see how this works. Ah! Very well. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, this thing is a beauty. We're gonna have fun with this one. Yeah. Anything else going on here? There's more. Oh, your head is gone, baby. Gone, baby, gone. Okay, they killed a few people. Looks like there's some bodies laying around. This shotgun is awesome. Yeah, that guy. The only reason why I like doing these explorations when I see people around is because I want to find out whether or not there's some sort of new random encounter uh, that we've missed or haven't seen yet. So far, the game has a little bit of a repetition with its random encounters, and I... Do not like that. Oh god, there's a wolf. Bring it on, bitch. Come on. I will take you on myself. This is the gray bitch. Ooh, yeah, you didn't like to feel that, wow. did you? Jesus. That's right. <laughs> and we got 60 shots in this thing. This thing is a monster. I love it. Um, I've been speaking with some people. Uh, I, I might have mentioned this in the previous episodes of the playthrough, but I wanted to dive a little bit deeper. So I don't know if you guys know this. I don't really know how many people are going to see this video. It's still earlier on in my YouTube career, so I don't expect many will. But if you've made it this far, first of all, thank you. You probably wouldn't be watching this episode without having seen the others. Um, and if you have, you're totally weird, but whatever. Um, what I was going to say was, is in playing games like this, Days Gone, um... Oh, very cool. Uh, State of Decay, one and two. And uh, The Division. I feel like if you combine all those three together, 
you have yourself a complete masterpiece of a game. And uh, I've been talking about this uh, with some people that I work with on a hobby project of mine. Um, and again, I don't advertise this too much, but uh, I do write and manage a website, uh, geekoutpost.com. It's just a fun little geek blog, as you'd imagine, between me and, and some other fine people that share passion for geek stuff, as it is. And I'm writing an opinion piece right now um, on this particular subject, on how I really would, oh, I must have been there, someday love to see a game like The Division that takes place in a uh, alternate universe of, say, Raccoon City and have a Resident Evil spin on it. If you combine everything in Days Gone, everything in The Division, and uh, everything in State of Decay, all the good good pieces, throw it together, throw a Resident Evil story and skin on it, you have yourself a masterpiece. Now, The Division, uh, while it's not without its own issues, um, did have some really beautiful like loot elements to it. The open world element was nice. The story was good. Um, but it was too grounded in reality. And that sort of takes me out of it. I don't... I don't particularly... We keep seeing these question marks, and then as soon as I get close, they disappear. I wonder if they're still there. Let's take a look and see what we see. Oh, there's some freakers there. Um, and so the division, because of its issues, I was a little bit bored with the slog, the spongy enemies, um, and their tankiness. Bolt spongy enemies, I should say. I kind of gave up, but I did like the loot system. I thought the loot system was really cool. Oh, there's another. Yeah, I don't see anything worthy of those question marks, like a like a random event of some sort. They go by too fast. But anyway, um, so I mean, there are things I like, and I felt like the division, if they, if Capcom was on top of that, like took the division and then just made it Resident Evil, but made it, like I said, it had to be in an alternate universe where Raccoon City didn't blow up. Um, and oh, there's something. What is he doing? He's flagging me down. I've not seen this sort of random event before. We had a better be best on a better to be best on our guard. Anyway, um, and you play in that world. Now, I, I'll have, I'll save more of the details regarding my exact thoughts on what I would love to see in a game like that um, for my opinion piece on Geek Outpost. But if you are interested, um, take a look at it. I don't know if it'll be up uh, or posted publicly by the time, publicly rather, by the time uh, this video goes live. Oh shit, he's got, okay. Oh, he's been there. Oh, this guy got lucky. You're fine. Calm the F down. Dude, you're screaming right here. Let me get you out of there. You're gonna die out here. I know of a camp where it's safe. A camp? Yeah, where? Yeah, yeah. Love this new shotgun. Very nice. I'll go. Uh, we'll go to Iron Mike's. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, dude, whatever. Uh, Jesus. All right, very weird interactions with some of these characters. Okay, and then he just spawns. You don't even see him. Sight. You don't even see him running away. It's weird. Anyway, so the idea that I had um, take place Raccoon City, have a lot of the division stuff, a lot of elements that make this game great, the open world aspect of it, um, the freedom, the visuals, of course, and then uh, you have. Uh, State of Decay that has more of like a survival type thing going on with it. Um, obviously, I'm not a game developer from like a directing standpoint or a programming standpoint, so I clearly don't have all the answers. It's just a thought that I've had, and I doubt anything like that will ever happen. It does make me sad um, realizing that because, you know, I think it would be a, a really great experience for players. Um, I don't know how you keep a game like that fresh time over time, but I feel like if The Division could do it, Resident Evil can do it. Um, I mean, I just imagine fighting. Oh, crap. 
Oh, this is a runner? I can't tell. It looks like it. No, it's a regular wolf. Um, just have hordes and hordes of undead, and then various uh, lab experiments from Umbrella surfacing, and then you challenge them in, like, raids and, and, you know, whatever. And some of them, obviously, would have to be a little bit bullet spongy, but other ones would be more mechanic heavy. Um, you'd have, like, sort of a fire team sort of thing, matchmaking events, stuff like that, special things that you'd have to do. I think that could be a lot of fun. Um, Destiny has some really good ideas as far as, like, their strikes are concerned. I like that concept. And I feel like you could also uh, do something like that in the Resident Evil world, where you'd have, like, certain repeatable story missions with various um, mechanics that alter the difficulty or the entertainment value. I think that would be super fun. Um, and then I also think that you'd have to sort of figure out how loot, the loot system would work. Like, I, I feel like all these looter shooter games, um, they are just too off the mark. They go to the right direction and then they want to reinvent the wheel and come out without a wheel at all. Every time. Now, Borderlands is the only looter shooter game I've ever seen that has, like, the loot drops um, pretty fair and consistent. But the problem is that you end up like out leveling your guns and you don't have an infusion system like destiny does and that is really annoying you can't keep your same weapons you have to regrind for them and that is a pain in the ass and that ends up turning into a situation where getting loot becomes too easy and then it sort of takes away the excitement factor of getting the perfect drop in the perfect moment um outriders kind of sucks in that sense well this is super violent um outrider sucks in that sense where you just can't get legendary drops Destiny showers you with legendary gear and exotic gear, but the exotic gear for the most part is almost always the same, minus a few stats. Some weapons have random rolls on it for an extra perk, which is kind of nice. But the uh, they just all drop too frequently, and then they get nerfed into hell. And then they're completely useless and boring, and it sucks. So, I mean, there's uh, definitely a fine line, but I feel like while this idea, I think, is is pretty got some pretty cool concepts to it, you have to remember from a developer side to, like, not be afraid to let the player have a good time Let's and enjoy itself. Like, all these games are intentionally designed to build up player retention, which I understand. From a business standpoint, you want people to play your game. But like Destiny and Bungie's crazy, ridiculous, egotistical, maniacal approach to their game, you end up losing far more players because you nerf everything that's fun. And then you screw things over for the player and the player feels punished and their time's not rewarding. And then when that happens, it's like, I don't want to play your game. I'm not going to keep grinding now. The grind is excessive. It's obnoxious. It's painful and I don't enjoy it. So you can't do that. You can't, you can't make the grind like that. You have to make it, you have to make it worthwhile. Oh shit. Fair. Reasonable and fun. And I, I think that there is definitely like a, a middle ground in there where you can sort of get, maybe not right on the mark, because that would be so tough. You're never going to please everyone. And there's obviously people out there in the world that enjoy the things that I don't and vice versa, and that's fine. But I think for the most part, the communities that are fully engaged in these games and these franchises share a very common sentiment and common themes that appear and therefore validate these thoughts. Um, and while it may not be entirely true, it's at least worth considering and uh i think while maybe you might be happy with certain aspects of like loot drops and whatever um it is very important to also remember that you could probably consider that most games um have areas of improvement and while i might not be touching based on what you think could be improved um you have to admit that you'd at least recognize what i'm saying applies to a lot of people in the community so I don't know how in future looter shooters you do that in this game that I'm sort of, uh, I guess, what was it? is that a wolf? No. Oh, there's something going on over there. It's a buck, but I don't know if it's fighting something, running away from something. There's something red on my map. But anyway, um, I don't know how you fix that in future looter shooters. I have no idea how you would do that in the one that I'm theorizing and kind of brainstorming right now while I'm talking. But I think... Um, you also have to remember that, like, little peon enemies maybe aren't going to be the primary source for where you get the best gear. So, I think 
one approach to that is is that in this game that I'm thinking of that pulls pieces from the division and days gone, etc. You have uh can I jump over this? Oh, it doesn't let me. Uh you have to have an alternate universe, like I said, where Raccoon City doesn't blow up, right? And I know I'm talking about a Resident Evil game, even though I'm not playing Resident Evil. I know, I know. Still though, I just I it was on my mind and I wanted to talk about this since we're just on this long ride anyway. Can I get over there? No, it doesn't let me. I was going to go over there and look at that thing, but that uh, placard or whatever for the the location. Here's one right here, the landmark. That's what I was looking for. Um, but I think one way to also kind of like work with that That's is that, okay, imagine Raccoon City doesn't get bombed and it survives, you know, for a certain amount of time, um, which then makes sense in game why players are in Raccoon City for so long. Um, writers smarter than me would have to come up with all the details and logistics to make that work long term. But one way to make it work uh, is and have a different variety of enemies is you have the standard civilians around town, right around the city. And then you have the military and you have uh, the police and then you have um, any sort of special forces that comes into Raccoon City that attempts to maybe bomb the place or wipe the place out of the infest infestation of the infected and fails. And what then happens is, is they become infected. And when they're infected, uh, they have weapons, right? Because you have military and they maybe they're carrying their guns and stuff. Uh, let's attach that. And so those types of enemies. Oh, shit. Didn't kill it. Still no? Go down. So you have those types of enemies that you interact with, which then uh, could drop weapons and stuff for you. Because I wouldn't expect like a random How civilian. Happened here? Oh, no. I wonder if they left anything worth the effort. Machete. But the thing is, is like, how it... Yeah, see... Hmm. Yeah, the machete is... I, I just... The Ripper Blade is just so much better to me. I just love the way it feels and the damage that it deals. Um. Where was my train of thought? Oh, now I would imagine that that civilians would have like melee weapons and stuff like that. So you're crossing. It's not too smart. Oh, I just shot my bike like an idiot. There we go. Shit, that sucks. Oh, it didn't do any damage. Okay, maybe I didn't hit my bike. Huh. I'm not as much of an idiot as I thought. Come on, dear. There's one. So, so you have you have melee weapons um, that can be uh, picked up by random civilians that have just kind of survived throughout the town, and then you have bigger weapons from other armed enemies that have come in through, and that also sort of creates um, enemy diversity too. Um, Dead Rising did a great job with enemy diversity. Uh, Left 4 Dead did, did a great job with enemy diversity. Mainly in Dead Rising, though, is that there's just a lot of different designs for zombies, which makes the world feel more real. Whereas a lot of games, there's like two or three enemies, and they're all wearing the exact same clothes, same hairstyle. It's really annoying. I just, I don't like that. I don't care what the reason is for it. I don't care if it's a memory storage saver on the game. I don't care if it's too difficult to program different styles. It, From a player standpoint, I want to be immersed in the game, and you just can't feel the immersion from that, like, from that angle. You just can't. So Dead Rising gets kudos for that. I think uh, Left 4 Dead, I don't know if they're the first, but they definitely pioneered the way for things like spitters and witches and tanks. And this game does that, too. You have your standard zombies, which are the freakers, swarmers. Um, whatever. Then you have the tanks, which are like the breakers. Then you have the screamers, which are witches or whatever. Oh. Oh, he got me, that bitch. Runner. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Really? God damn it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah, eat that, you bastard. Ridiculous. Okay, let's see if we can get on this and move it out of the way, get the bear stuff, whatever. But anyway, so you can expand on that, which reminds me of, uh, what is it, Back for Blood? Right? Something like that. The Turtle Rock Studios, the guys that actually partnered with Valve and made Left 4 Dead, they, they're they coming back to kind of do a, a whole new spiritual successor to that, and I'm really excited about that. But that's actually happening. I think that'll be out later this year, end of this year, something like that. Is there a... That looks like... The sign of a horde nest somewhere. Yeah, I gotta be careful of that. Who's dead right here? Just outside my view. Is it in the tree? It's not right here. It must be up in the tree. What's dead in the tree? Oh, there's a cave below me. Aha, uh -huh. so something's dead down there. That dirt entry, yep, that's a cave. Okay, so it's below. As above, so below. Anyway, I know, a bit of a ramble, but there's something else really going on to talk about, so I just thought I would touch base on a topic that is really dear to my heart, even though it's sort of just a passion dream project of mine that I don't think will ever come to fruition. Am I gonna fall off this? Okay, no, we're good. Yeah, there must be a horde cave right over there. Oh, there isn't a cave? There's gotta be. There has to be a cave somewhere. I know there is. Something's up over here. I want to look at this first. So, that was just a thought that I had. But I mean, if at the very, very least we could get a game like Division that has zombies, I would be all for it. Left 4 Dead, um, or sorry, not Left 4 Dead, uh, State of Decay has potential, but it also really struggles. Now, State of Decay 3, which not a lot has been showcased on that, I have really high hopes for. I would have sworn there was a cave here. It even looks like it. Screw it, whatever. Okay. Oh, there's a bridge there. What's this about? Nothing, I guess. Alright. Enough dilly-dallying. But, so that was just something that I was just thinking about. And I don't know if you find that to be as interesting as I do, but uh, if you do, let me know down in the comments and we'll talk about it. Of course, I don't suspect that this will be a topic that I discuss for some time, because again, not too many people watch these videos, but not a complaint, just a simple observation of life. That's how it is. Police car, is there any way to check this for ammo? Yes, there is. Music is starting to pick up. Awesome. Thank you, God. Alright. So, we'll go in that house. Oh, sh shit. There's a dead dude there. Okay, first let me see if there's some gas around here. I have a feeling something big is going to happen in this mission. Of course, my feelings are often wrong, but, you know... Oh wow, well, this thing crashed into the into the house. Everything in this game tells a story. Maybe not well, but it tells a story. A machete. I'll come back later. Finish burning out these nests. There's nurse nests here. Nurses. What? Just had a mental breakdown. Nests. Oh, the, ah, it's this, oh, because we're in Marion Forks, that's right. There's no damn nest here, Deacon. We've cleared them out so long ago. It's a, it has to be a bug. It's so annoying. All right, let's go grab this gas can first before we do anything. I don't know if there was one in here, but there's gas right up the road. So let's just hop in here. Shit, I heard that. Definitely a marauder around here. I heard a female voice talking. I can't 
can't remember if there's a gas can over here. Yes, there is. Okay, I'll take the gas can. Fill up the bike and then continue on. But there are enemies. With my rack, you son of a bitch. That was the one. Dirt bag. You don't mess with the man's bike, lady. Yeah, you bleed out. Anyway. I don't know. The more I think about it, the more excited I get. I just... I feel like you guys don't care. Which is, you know, fine. Whatever. Oh, that's right. That's what we're here for. Oh, what the ambush, ambush. Shit, I didn't see that coming. Is that the metal tube? No, uh, wooden leg. Makes sense why she stole my bike. Because they were right here. I never would have thought that guy was uh, going to come out like that. That startled me. <laughs> I can't believe we killed him. I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and take this med kit. And we'll use that. See, again, I talked about this before, but this is uh, the crow break, cr crowd breaker. Yeah, I gotcha. I was gonna say crow breaker, but there's a D there. Crowd breaker is a yellow, which is, I think, there's six or seven tiers in this game. It's cool that you can buy them, but there needs to be a way to earn them or locate them in the world. Just to expand, just a little bit. But so far, this is my favorite gun. Did I pick that medical thing up? I did. Here we go. Oh, that'll do it. Okay. What's next? Blade. Where am I gonna find a blade? Why not oh, machetes? Where, where was that sporting goods store? Lisa's old house. Oh, crap. Well, Freakers are going to be out any minute. Yeah, they're going to start swarming. Here it is. Gotta be careful. Now, I just gotta find a blade. Always aim the bike in the direction to your quickest getaway. Use this. It's a freaking can, dude. Okay, let's take a look around. <laughs> Still got this. What are you looking for? <laughs> Must be in there. What is he looking for? Why are we looking for steps for this, you know? Doesn't make sense. Alright, what have we got? Gotcha. Okay, we should probably go in a little quiet. Oh. There it is. Here we go. Oh, this ought to be enough. Now uh, I just gotta get all this crap back to Ricky. A pipe and a blade. That bear boss that we took on in this area much earlier on in the game when we first met Lisa. I really wonder why we haven't encountered anything like that. So far, we've only met two bosses, the breaker and that thing. And we've put in almost like 30 hours. What's this guy's deal? 
Oh, uh, shit, what the hell happened here? Uh, that might be worth having a look around. Why did he say it like that? Is there something going on here? Somebody must have just got jumped. I don't see anything here that's worth investigating, and I'm pretty sure we've been at this Nero checkpoint like a hundred times. Yeah, so, yeah, nothing here. Yeah, let's keep going. We don't really have anything here to do. Luckily, we can dodge and weave through all this pretty quickly. I just wish there was something more to these tunnels. Oh shit. I don't recall seeing that before. Something's happening. Uh oh. There was a horde down here. But we killed it, so there shouldn't be anything else. Thank god. Of course, that doesn't mean there's not going to be a lot of these enemies here, you know? I've seen quite a bit of red on the map. I wonder, are there runners? Are they, not like pets of the Freakers, but... Do they attack the Freakers? Wolves do, but do the Wolf Runners attack them? I don't know. Whoa. Shit. I kind of saw that coming. <laughs> I was like, oh no. But took the hit anyway. Dude, probably not a good time to chill. Someone's coming at me, I hear it. Oh, it's a freaking Wolf. Damn it, Runner. Shit. I heard it growling. I think I did. Okay, we're good. If it was a runner, it would have caught up to me. The one, at least with the one. on our motorcycle, I just feel like we're never fast enough. Shit. Gotta watch out for the horde that's around here, too. Gotta admit, had some fancy dancy moves there. It was pretty good. All 
All right, let's repair the bike. This thing's probably in rough shape. 66. I can't fix this. It should work. I spent far too much money trying to repair this thing. Hey, Deacon. Buzz, how's a camper's life? 233. Bucks. I don't think there's anything that I can buy. Is there? All this talk about Copeland and my bike, it's like, dude, I already rebuilt my bike to be pretty dope. Ricky. Oh, gather scrap, son, de la bitch. Got good shit in stock today. Buzz. Damn it. Had it completed until that. Awesome. Let me get the gate. And I gotta go back out in this junk heap. Completed it and then we lost it. We'll stay on the main road though. Holy crap. That's a lot. Hmm, said that way. Not a horde, but dangerous enough. Oh god, it's a... Oh, okay, phew. Oh, it is. There we go. Ah, damn it. I don't think I killed the, uh... Screamer, but... See if I can see it. Thought it was right down there, right? Ah, crap. Got some more freakers in the road. It's alright, we can avoid them for a bit. Let's update. Well, we'll keep this open, but we won't take the ammo just yet. wait and see how things go in a moment. Can I open this hood? It's a little bent. Ah, crap, he sees me. Oh, maybe not. Okay. There we go, baby. Got it. All right, let's have a little fun and then grab the ammo. Yeah, what's that punk? Okay. Max ammo. What shape is the bike in? 55. Damn. Might have to repair the bike a little bit more. Scrap. Good thing I didn't do that yet. <laughs> Damn it. We'll just pay to re repair the bike. Come on. Where is my gas at right now? 89. be quick about this. Here we go. That screamer witch type. Oh, I did get her. There we go. Very good, very good. Can't risk any more encounters running over these freaks. But I'm gonna... Okay, my bike is in terrible shape. Hey, look. Someone's here. 
It's okay. Open up. <laughs> My bike is completely thrashed. Deacon, why is your bike so messed up, dude? Uh, because I was running into a bunch of people on the road. Oh, okay, fine. Hey. Hey. I got those parts that you asked for. Oh, great. Well, uh, check back in a few. I'll see what I can do, yeah? Uh, Ricky. Thanks. Yeah. Boozer's one of us now. Deacon St. John, how have you been? Boss. Uh, decent. Expected. Don't beat her up too bad. Shit, you really need a lot of fuel. No, I don't. I'm here if you need me, man. Hey, Deacon. How's it going, Joe? Nice, good haul. Hey, Deke. How you been? Blair, you are looking fine today. Little stubby. Hmm. I know I can't buy it, but I will wait. Yeah, good. Hmm, that should work. I really wish I could carry more suppressors. It's actually quite frustrating. That okay. I can't. Well, now what? Hey, come around more often. We miss you. I'll bet. Actually, let's leave the bike there. I don't want to waste gas. We're going to go sleep real quick and then wait for the next day and see if that uh, triggers any more events because I'm pretty sure... Oh, there's Boozy. What's up, Booze Man? How you doing? Don't break a leg. Oh, I'm just going to close my eyes for a bit. Running out of limbs, man. Okay, let's go. Let's do a quick save since we're here. We probably don't have any actual missions, do we? I think we have to leave the camp. I thought there was a little bit more at the end of the last episode, but apparently not. Hey, what's up with you? Are those guys walking around the survivors that I've saved? You here to buy something? My bike looks freaking dope, doesn't it? <laughs> and then I run into a truck. <laughs> yeah, my bike's so nice. Crash. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, that's funny, though. Hold on. I'll get it. Great, Ricky. I'll, I'll be right there. Deacon out. And this shotgun's so cool. It looks good. Great range. Would you shut up? You just saw me five seconds ago. Jesus. Yeah, back up. Just right in the okay. crease there. Okay, got it. Let me secure it in, okay? There you go. That's better. Okay. Hey, brother. Look what oh. Ricky did. What? Made me a new toy. Oh, that was all Deacon. <laughs> oh, that's he really, really cool, Boozer. Hey, uh, I could have been one of those, yeah. those three goddamn musketeers. Oh, on guard, you <laughs> fucking right. ripper. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey. Jesus. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, well, maybe this wasn't that good of an idea? Yeah, me. Damn it. <laughs> Will survive and he's a reason to live. He's got a knife hand now. I mean, he had didn't he have a poker before or something on it before? I don't get it. Seems weird. Because, like, what did he need a knife for? What's the difference? Hold on. Come to hold.
Hold on. <laughs> Brian, I'm sick of doing your dirty work. You got news for me or not? Yeah, I, I mean, yes, I have news. Well, then what is it? I need you to do one last job. Were you listening to what I was just saying? I'm done with one this. One more job, then I'll meet you in person, show you what I got. Forget it. Her middle name. It was Irene, right? Sarah, Irene, Whitaker. It's on her admission form. One last job. And one last job. I sent you the coordinates. O'Brien out. Hmm. All right. One last job. Let's see how this goes. Hey, hey. You're headed somewhere in a hurry? Yeah. Let's get a sheath for that blade. That Nero bastard I told you about, O'Brien. Well, it looks like he's got some news for me, but I gotta do one last job for him first. Yeah. Okay. Do I come? You should come with me. Yeah? Nah, I... Skizzle's got me on farm duty. Feeding the world one shitty weed at a time. Fuck Skizzle, I'll drop you off right afterward. When's the last time you saw a helicopter? I'll tell him you twisted my arm. <laughs> Never what's, gets old, does What's it? left of it? Oh, Edward Scissorhands is riding on the back? I guess he can't ride a bike of his own, can he? Yeah, you rub your crotch right up up there, Jesus. <laughs> Too funny. Where are we headed? Over toward Malakwa Lake. You know where that is? Yeah, it's just north of the Rogue Tunnel off uh, Waldo Road. So what are we doing there? The Nero Chopper's gonna be on the ground doing whatever the hell it is that they do. O'Brien wants me to see what they're up to. So, Brian, is, uh, is what? Your shot caller? Handler? Ow! Boozer, you know why the hell we're out here. Just asking. Seems like he tells you to jump. You ask how high. For Sarah, dude. Come Not on. how it is. I thought Boozer was Sarah's brother, but... How are you holding up? I don't know where I got that from. Not bad. Uh, it's been worse, you know. I actually don't mind working the farm. Weeds and shit. Reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to go out to my uncle's farm out at uh, by Adrian on the Idaho border. Spent summers working the beet fields. <laughs> yeah, a little dirt bike I took around on. That's where I learned to ride. If you're not careful, I'm gonna start calling you Farmer Bill. When we get to that site, stay close. Whatever happens, don't let him see you. They can get a little trigger happy. Okay, okay, got it. Stay down, keep my mouth shut, don't get us killed. Hey, thanks for bringing me along, D. It's good to get out again. Even riding bitch, you know? <laughs> yeah. The dialogue ended perfectly as we arrived. We need the area okay, secure now. Stay close. Right behind you. I want this perimeter right, right, locked down tight. You guys there it got is. that? Let me know when it's clear. I yeah, thought I'd see one of those again. Crouch yeah. down, idiot. All right, now watch. Soldiers come out first. They secure the LZ. Then their boy genius, researcher, scientist, whatever the hell, he comes out he looks around. It's a woman. It's always been a woman. What? Whatever science shit they're doing out here, how the hell would I know? The one who's been spying on them. Squad, check in. Okay, wait here. Clear over here. Wait, it's marked red? Was it always red like that? Oh, it is a guy this time. Okay. No 
offside. Field note 2102. After analysis of SCAT samples from zones 2, 3, and 4B, there is clear evidence of Claytonia perfoliata. What's that? Commonly known as miner's lettuce. Please don't interrupt. As well as pernicious berries from temperate communists. So, why do we care? Did I get caught? I didn't see anybody. I think that researcher, by the way, same voice actor who played a character called Harm on Young Justice. There's a handful of characters in here from Young Justice. The guy who plays Copeland was Guardian in Young Justice. The guy who plays Schizo is uh, Wally West. This guy was Harm. Like, there's... Yeah, that's so crazy. I don't understand. I was pretty, I, I felt like I was pretty close. Okay, then I must be just losing. I'll be better this time. Right at me this time. Two, three, and four B. There is clear evidence of Claytonia perfoliata. What's that? Commonly known as miner's lettuce. Please don't interrupt. As well as pernicious berries from Juniperus communis. So, why do we care? Why do we care? Because it means the freaks are eating more than just us and each other. They're eating berries, plants, grass, needles, basically yeah. anything a deer would eat. They're omnivores, just like us, but. Stomachs that can digest a much wider range of cellulose. Yeah, okay. And um, what? It means they're not gonna starve when they run out of us to eat. <laughs> Freaks aren't going away anytime soon. Shit. That's bad. Yeah, that's bad. I'm done here. Okay. Uh, head back to the bike. Field note 2102. Okay, so I never noticed that in the top right corner. You probably I don't know if you guys can see it, maybe you did, but um, my cam overlay here covers up that little thing. But I think every time we do some research, there's some sort of journal entry that we get access to that we can probably read up on. And I never noticed that before. I wonder how long that research guy just stays right there. Can I hit him with a rock? That'd be hilarious. Bink! Right in the face. Oh, so this lets me know who can hear it. The highlight. I never noticed that before. This easy for both of us. And a dead body over here? Oh, we were here before. I think we had a bounty that we had to do here. Yeah, this is... Okay, I know where we are. Yeah, we did it. We had a bounty to kill the red boot guy, I think, was in this area. Also, those guards do a real crap job of securing the area. Catch any of that over my radio? That's pretty fucked up. Good taxpayer money and they're out here collecting freaker shit. Yeah, I told you. Who knows what they're doing or why? Oh, they gotta have a base around here somewhere, right? You try following them? Yeah, but they always disappear over the mountains heading south. And with the highway choked off, I can never get close. Sons of bitches. Seems like they got a lot to answer for. Yeah. Where are we headed now? It's a good question. O'Brien, are you there? Come in, O'Brien. 
I'm here. Finished? Yeah, it's done. Where am I meeting you? I wasn't expecting you so soon. I'm sending you the coordinates now, but it might take a few minutes to get there. O'Brien out. Jesus, what the hell does he think I've been doing out here? Hey, you're right about one thing. He does sound like an asshole. Something's gonna go down, though. I feel like O'Brien's not gonna just walk out of a sedan and be like, Hey guys, how's it going? You like my new hybrid? Anyway, here's some information on Sarah. Something else is gonna happen. You wait here. I don't want him getting skittish because I brought someone along. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the bike. I've seen enough Nero assholes for one day. Okay, I'll be back. I was really hoping that Boozer would die. Name. Irene. She can't be alive. But he's alive. Why not her, huh? Like, I was hoping that they would run into Nero and Nero would end up, like, killing Boozer. That'd be crazy. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. There he is. Where'd he get the chopper? Yo. Shit. You've gotta stop doing that. What you got? Alright, look. I'm gonna lay it out for you, but it's not good news. I finally found a guy who was willing to do some digging through some files that, we, that they used to keep while they still kept records. Okay, no problem. Anyway, Sarah Whitaker, your wife, was admitted to the Camp Mash unit on the South Flats outside of Silver Lake. Uh, according to the records, she was in surgery for six hours and then was moved okay, to... So she survived. The stab wound, she survived. Yeah, yeah. According to the records, she made a full recovery. And then she was moved to another camp on the outskirts okay, of Okay, so, so she could still be alive. Even after all this time, she could still be alive, you're saying? No. What do you mean, no? It was overrun. Everything was overrun. There were no survivors. You survived. They survived. Look, 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 look. There was nothing that would have protected that camp, okay? Highway 97 w w is an artery. Infected... Freaks poured up from L.A., from the Bay Area, from Sacramento. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of them. There was, there was nothing we could do. I get it. So you bugged out. Who did you bring with you? Uh, Nero personnel. Some feds. People with clearance. Nero personnel. The soldiers. The guys with the guns. The guys that should have been protecting no, no, the there's civilians. There's nothing that you can do against a horde. Oh, They're no, too strong. All They're too about fast. Hordes. They know that there was nothing that we could do. Oh, you know what you could have done? You could have brought a few of them with you. You could have saved a few lives. There was no hope, there was no time, there was no room, okay? We had already turned on each other by the time the hordes arrived. No, I get it. Shoot him. Look, I'm sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about all of this. But you gotta understand. If you hadn't sent her with me that night, she would have been dead the next morning. You did the right thing. <laughs> Something's up with O'Brien. That mask covering you know, his face is weird to me. Decided to stay. The only thing that would have happened is you'd be dead right alongside her. Don't you think I know that? <laughs> O'Brien. Thank you for saving her life that night. How would he have possibly heard you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Still, though, I'm not taking that with. Don't you think I should take that with? Why would you just leave that there? So you're sorry. Is that it, O'Brien? You're sorry? Oh, damn it. All things a waste of my goddamn time. Sarah Whitaker, Silver Lake Emergency Facility, 9770154128 I'm going to call that phone number right now. Wait. That's not a full number, it's missing a digit. Damn it. Okay, just kidding. I was about to call that number. That'd be really cool to have that in here. 
Uh, stab wound to the abdomen, six hour surgery, full recovery, NDK allergies, none. Physician signature. Sarah Lake Emergency Resident Refugee Camp A103 Kamolt. Sponsor for the first 24 hours. Nothing. Dang. I mean, there's only what? 10 different numbers that could be. Well, no, a lot more than that, actually, because that digit in the missing midsection could be in the front, middle, or back, but it looked like it was from the back. Oh, well. Still, that would have been a fun little experiment to do on uh, on this YouTube playthrough. Oh, well. But anyway, I do feel like Sarah is probably still alive. The way this story is going, one of two things is going to happen. He's going to find Sarah, and it's going to be a crazy uh, reunion, or he's going to find her dead. Uh-oh, Boozer's not there. Or... He's going to find her, and then she's going to die in front of him. So I guess three things. Where's Boozer? Damn it. Oh, what the hell? Boozer? Boozer? Oh, God damn it, Booze, man. Where the hell did you go? Ah, shit. Booze, man, where the hell did you go? Boot tracks. It's gotta be his. All right. Well, we're about that hour mark anyway. I think this is where we should go ahead and just save it. We'll go ahead and continue on and find out where Boozer is in the next episode of our playthrough. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. The plot thickens. Uh, before you go, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any feedback for me, leave it down in the comments uh, section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible, especially the talk that we had about the Resident Evil sort of division type game. I feel like that would be super crazy. Um, but anyway. I will see you guys when we continue on with the playthrough tomorrow with a brand new episode at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time right here in the Mark and 9 channel, part of Mark After Dark. So in the meantime, take care, be well, and I'll see you next time when we continue on with our playthrough of Days Gone. All right, guys. See you later.